Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Manoj Roy. Today I am using two examples, one with radical here and other is without radical. So how to find the domain of this part? Whenever we have the radical sign, we always consider the radical sign like this one and denominate also. But when we have on without denominate like under root, so we always use the denominator to find the domain. So Denominator normally when we have any of the fraction, the fraction this cannot be zero. So it should not be zero means x minus one should not be equal to zero. So x is not equal to one. This is called the domain of this function. The other way to write the domain is very simple. We can use a number line. This is one, two, three, and this is zero and minus one. All the values like zero, the right hand side and the left hand side are your domain so we can write the other way that like from infinity to minus infinity uh, to one is the domain or you can write from one to from one to infinity is also the domain or in the other word you can also write the domain is you can write like uh, less than greater than one and less than uh, one this is also called the domain of this function when we move to this part we consider both the things we also consider the radical and the denominator when we use the denominator we have the same thing here x minus one is not equal to zero and x is not equal to one this is the first case for the domain but when we have this part remember in the radical then the radical you cannot write negative value it cannot be minus five it cannot be minus one but it can zero it can be zero it can be one it can be five all the positive values are possible in the radical so it means i can write one thing in the radical this under root the value can be zero the value can be one the value can be two it means all the values can be more than equal to zero possible so when we remove the square root we have x minus four greater than equals to zero and x is greater than equals to four now when you combine these both the values to find the domain we need a number line so number line starting from one two three four five onward this one when we use this one for the number line the one like is not in your domain but when you use x greater than equals to four it means with the, all the values in right hand side are your domain so it means all the values in left hand side not the domain so the domain will be only x is greater than equals to four this will not come in the domain side so x is only possible here more than for all the values so by this way we have done this how to find the domain of this fraction with radical and without radical. Thank you so much and have a nice day.